Folks, welcome back. I have been quietly playing. Lazarus tested my patience. Then I managed to just clear everything out with Apollyon, who's a phenomenal character. And then I've been doing some Azazel. I also want to note that I have unlocked the correct crown. Previously, we needed to get a five win streak. I have no idea what the change is, but I have been playing and winning daily runs ever since I suspected that the crack crown must be gotten through a win streak. Maybe it's a 10 win streak or a 14 win streak, which is kind of rude, but all good. I now have the crack crown. So in my list of desired trinkets with cancer and curved horn being like top tier, Crack Crown is also in that list now. And Crack Crown is really great because it's I think it's like a 0.25% multiplier to all of your stats, which yeah, if you have 20 damage, you're getting 25 damage just from that one trinket. And if you get Mom's Purse, if you get Smelter or Gulp, then boom you have those permanently and then of course if you do get mom's box you can double those effects i don't think i'll find them just because the trinket pool is massive but if i do yay with that said i want to give a hooray to myself for getting the crack crown finally and i am one step closer to unlocking all the things let's play with some azazel I really want to get to Boss Rush and Hush, but I feel like I am dependent on the first couple floors giving me a good item. I believe, if I'm remembering correctly, my Lazarus had to do both in parts. I couldn't do them both together, but I could do one at a time, which is not ideal, honestly, but you know, we're here. Uh, and we're dealing. And we're taking damage. <laughs> Oops. You know what? A heart for a heart is fine with me. Whatever. I've been trying to think more about the sneeze. I think it's called a sneeze. I think this they've classified this as a sneeze. But when you're not fully charged, he kind of does a spit. I believe that is called the sneeze because I picked up a birthright. I don't know if I picked it up on Azazel or Tainted Azazel in a daily run, but when I picked it up, it said my sneeze got stronger and I would do a much bigger bloody sneeze attack. It didn't make the effect stronger, it just made it easier to apply. And I don't really find Birthright often enough to really know all of its effects on the different characters. I believe this is the first Tainted Birthright I've seen. No, I got Tainted Eden as well. I shouldn't have gone in here, but that's okay. Tainted Eden's Birthright is permanent items. The ones that you've picked up before you touch the Birthright, I remember now. Range down, that doesn't matter. I hope everyone is doing well and they are enjoying some Isaac today. I really wish you could fly, but you can't. Also, I'm noticing that even though I have 5.25 damage, it's not really 5.25 damage. Maybe because the beam is thinner, it doesn't do as much. And you're reliant on the sneeze. I don't know. Is this tier right? Good. What am I doing? Oh, whatever I want. Yay. So the goal is to knock out six bosses at once that's not always going to happen but we try our best six bosses that's boss rush hush either cathedral and chest or 
Sheol and Darkroom, Mega Satan and Delirium. That's the ideal run, is to get all of those. A lot of factors that work with that, but you know, there's a chance. And then once you beat that, your final run is just doing the other side. So if you went chest, boss rush, delirium, all that fun stuff, then you just do dark room. If you do dark room, then do chest. I'm drowsy is a great pill. If I can snag another one, that's a great delirium defeat right there. It's a great hush defeat. Yeah, see, 5.25 can't one hit these flame dudes, which is kind of unfortunate. Uh, yeah, let's go inside. Let's see what this is. Jumper cables. Actually, we'll take blue candle. Blue Candle is much more beneficial. Where's my secret room? I think it's here. Nope. Cool. Moving on. So now I have two things working for me. Blue Candle and Sneeze. If I can land the Sneeze anyway. The Sneeze range is very low. Which is fair because, you know, you're sneezing. Don't want to sneeze across the room and affect people. In this case, you do want to infect people because you are trying to hit them with a brimstone laser. There's the mirror. Perks is also a phenomenal pill if you can do sacrifice room. But finding both is not likely. If you do find both, congratulations. Aw, was hoping that was gonna be the secret room so I could do my bloody combat room. I do love blue candle. It, it's a stronger flame than the red candle, but it dissipates faster. A lovely trade-off, in my opinion. I should try to find the secret room, just so I can blom a shopkeep, and then bombing the shopkeep will land me a potential increase in my angel room chance. I can see forever is awesome. What are you? Book of Sin. I'm drowsy. Awesome. Go and shop. Nothing I want, but we're still gonna bomb the shopkeep so I can get the increased percent. And then we'll take this. What is this room? Yara. Hmm. I like Yara. It's pretty much Yara pills, maybe? Yara chests. Eh. If we get booster pack here, that will be really good. Hello? Okay. It had some random glitchy invincibility there. Oh, that's cool. The candle can explode the fire, or the gas. That's really nice. The fire. All right, people, where is my flame? It's time for action. You know what? Let's take it. If we get a lot of 
red hearts, Blood Oath will be a great damage and speed boost to help us with the rest of the run. So I'm, I don't wish for health up, so instead I want a combination. That's things like Magic Mushroom, Meat, Placenta works because of the health regeneration. But if we simply... I shouldn't say this out loud, but I will. If we simply get things like breakfast or dinner or lunch, then fine. Preferably, we would get that in a chest. Also that... Eh, whatever. So the problem with taking a... A rotten heart is at the beginning of the next floor it's going to be consumed. I like this. Being able to detonate the gas myself is much better than waiting for bombs. curious how Blood Oath will work because normally it takes you down a half of a red heart. In this case, because I have protection, it should just drop me down to no red heart and give me like a very small damage boost. All right, Yara. Honestly, we'll take the Yara. If I have a very strong defense, it won't matter as much with I'm Drowsy, but I'm Drowsy's really nice for everything. Okay, look at that damage boost. Wow, <laughs> 0.08. I'm amazing. I'm all powerful, fear me. Honestly, that was just rude. Like, that's not even a damage boost. That's a mockery. So, this would be fun to do, but I got stuff to do and places to go. People to see, enemies to destroy. There's an item in here. I can tell by the star on my map. Sinus infection, very good. If I can get lost contact, we are in business. Sinus infection does work with beams, so you're going to attach your tears. Oh. Oh. Fun. Boom. Just Yara now. Love it. Both of these are items. We have the three luck up items. Uh, Dad's Lost Coin, Latch Key, Bombs Pearls. Matchbook gives us a black heart and some bombs. I don't really want to take the Key Beggar. If I can find a black room, that would be a gem. Because I don't want that at all. This would be really good for Hush. Wow, nice job. I haven't found my item room. Also, I should have waited for this because I haven't gotten any extra percent chance on a devil deal. In this case, angel deal. Got it anyway. And then we did get health up like I asked for. Let's see. So, Immaculate Heart makes the most sense here as I can get a lot of angel followers. But taking Blood of the Martyr for damage is really good. So, we're just going to take Immaculate Heart because I'm going to lose Red Hearts from the beginning of every floor. That's two Red Hearts I can pick up every single time. If I could also find Cambion Conception, this item will make that much more beneficial for me. Because Blood Oath is hitting you, that counts toward the Cambion Conception. Uh, that also works with 
fanny pack and any other active item effect or any other on hit effect it would be not ideal if you were doing something like curse of the tower <laughs> because your starting room would be full of bombs oops that was poorly timed Okay, I tried. Just use the candle. I don't know why I'm standing still for as long as I am. I shouldn't do that. Can you be a heartbreaker? Nope. Okay, let's move quickly here. I am behind pace already. I was doing fine, and then this floor kind of distracted me. And in the worst case scenario, not doing boss rush and hush together, again, it's fine. I can do it on the next run, but I want to knock these out. Item room, where are you, friend? No flight, can I get flight? Nope, but I can get health up. So that's a combination that I was talking about. So I did get a health up from that, but it was health damage speed down. That's much better than just getting health like I got from the boss. And again, that's gonna make this blood oath help me out because I'll have more damage and speed that's going to offset the odd mushrooms speed down. So I should get like maybe 0.5 damage. Wow, didn't expect that. <laughs> that's great. That's what I'm talking about, okay? And now we need to find red hearts. Is this Necro 1? Yeah. Let's just do it. I know I should try to get my percents up, but that doesn't matter to me. What are you? Binky! Nice. Tier 8. I just need to get the red hearts in my item room and then boogie on out. If I can find the converter, that would be good. The converter will take the soul hearts and black hearts and turn them into red hearts. That makes Blood Oath way better. And that's probably the only time I ever really take converter. So that would be a good showcase of the item. I think I was off a little bit there. I skipped the item room because I want to check the shop, see if there is more options. And then when we get to the next floor, I'm going to have to make a decision on it. Can I skip my item room? I think I can, honestly. I didn't find the secret room, it might be super great, but whatever. Steam sale, cool. 
Box of Friends. Mm. I like Box of Friends. So yes, the other rooms, I haven't cleared them out. Oh, what? My molding clay became epic fetus. What a thing to get. I'm probably gonna drop molding clay. I don't want that to happen to me. I think that's a really cool item, but I saw one of the effects was also, uh, what was it? One of the effects was Shard of Glass, and that is very bad for my synergy. So yeah, we'll just not do that. What I can do is if I can find my skull, I can just teleport out of mom after I beat Boss Rush, find my stuff, and then go. But I don't know if that will happen. Love this candle. <laughs> just need to take some damage up or health up sorry not damage up we got our damage up thanks cricket head cricket's head cricket's head top tier item Got a little bit of time. Nice movement. Again, I don't feel confident about this, but I'm going in anyway. Super greed? I'm going to Ace of Diamonds, the L-shaped room, and then go. Ace of Diamonds. It gives me 90 seconds to beat Mom, and then it gives me a bit of cushion going into Boss Rush, where I need to beat Boss Rush timely enough so that I can also get to Hush. <laughs> what it's worth I would rather do chest for the chance of landing on delirium if we get something remarkable I will do delirium specifically Okay, I think Farting Baby will make Hush much more manageable. I like the extra luck, but yeah, here we go. Farting Baby will help a lot. I just need to get more of my sinus infection to stick on enemies. That's my ask right now.
need to be aware that I have no more bombs. It's you! What a duo to find, yikes. <laughs> Perhaps I should have went for the followers with Box of Friends. Yeah, the, the, the dilemma right now is figuring out if I want to do Delirium now or Mega Satan and fingers crossed that I get Delirium. Because if I don't get Delirium now, the next time I would have to do Hush anyway. That's always the problem I run into. I'm like, should I try Hush now? Should I do Mega Satan and hope for it? But I think what makes the most sense is to take on Mega Satan first, because if I do get Delirium, fine. If I don't, then I know what to do on future runs. Paralysis. Okay, not what I wanted. Awesome. Perks is really, really good. The sun. Again, I'm thinking about bosses super bosses are tough Invested? this is a dice what is it d2 nice thank you bob's brain disguised as delirium close. Yay. <laughs> oh, 
dead item. No. <laughs> also an item I don't want. So Judas's shadow, very good, but kind of can't use it if you're going to transform into somebody else. Dying means you become Judas, Dark Judas. And while the character is very strong, it is not Azazel. Are you seeing the dilemma here? Forgot I had a blue candle for a sec. Constantly checking the time, making sure I have enough, but I feel like I'll be fine. Just a little bit of paranoia. I kind of want the damage, so we will first see what happens on this boss. If I get the hearts, cool. If I don't, then I will reconfigure. Holy Grail! That's enough for me. Four red. Oh, there's another red heart. Yay! And we got our first angel style follower. It is the guardian angel. Remember, as I pick up hearts, Immaculate Conception will activate. Bam. Really good damage. Oh look, another friend. Eden's Blessing. Wow. Very good. And I don't think either of these items work, honestly. We can try it. Flat stone? Does it? I don't think that's going to work. Flat stone needs tears. I don't have tears. I have a beam. School bag? Hmm. I don't know. Sure, whatever. Come on, crawl space. Cha ching. Oh, come on. I brought that into existence by talking about it. That is Curse of the Tower. We don't want that. Because if I enter a floor, I'm going to activate it every time I take damage. So, no! We don't want that. The goal is to do this fight without using perks. This infection is doing what I need it to. Really hoping this activates a lot. Now, if I had a choice between perks and I'm drowsy, I would pick I'm drowsy. Also, if you're unfamiliar with followers, both Dry Baby and Farting Baby block projectiles. So if you are standing close enough to them and a tear is coming at you, it's going to get blocked. 
One thing to think about is if you are able to decrease your size, it would be very, very difficult for you to get hit because you're either the same size or smaller than your farting or driving. At the same time, if you can get BFF, their size is going to increase, so it makes it easier for them to block. If you can get Sworn Protector, Fat Protector, Guardian Angel, a Ball of Bandages, or a Cube of Meat, all of those will also block. So you could potentially get a lot of blockers, and then taking on enemies like Hush and Delirium become much, much, much easier. The two that I adore the most are Botfly and Psyfly, since their ability is to target tears and knock them away. Also, I was not paying attention. Because I have Little Delirium, it is shifting the placement of my followers based on priority. Because attackers are closer to you, and then everyone else follows along in the train. So things like Incubus and Lil Bremmy, there we go, they will prioritize closer to the front. I tried really hard to take out the boss before those beams got to me and I failed. <laughs> cool. Soul of Azazel is ours. Unfortunately, I don't have red hearts, but reminder to self, we're not doing Delirium right now. We can always come back and do it, and we might run into Delirium anyway. My goal is to get all of my hearts refilled. So there are five red heart containers and like, we'll say four soul hearts, because I don't remember. Oh yeah, can't go in there. Don't have my hearts. I don't think Jawbreaker works. We'll find out. Come on, team. Give me red hearts. I never asked for him. And now I am. That's three. We need two more. tonsil because if I start getting hit I will create two tonsils that follow me I don't remember if they block tears but why not take them just in case red hearts. You can do it. Tier 8 is good. We are at the soft cap for tier 8. My tier 8 went up by 0 0.01. Come on, team. How about Cracker Jack? Oh, 
okay. <laughs> Pretty sure I'm down to two soul hearts. Not good. Not good. I have school bag, so we'll take Mr. Boom. Mr. Boom is just going to be a free attempt at finding secret rooms. Poison, now that's good. Sorry, Tonsil. You've been benched for poison. Wow, that is not the secret? I'm shocked. My favorite soul thus far is Lilith's, because you get a follower just from using it. I think that is so, so good. Alright, Isaac, be nice. Items will we get from chest today? Yikes, my health is dangerously low. Creep shot. Finger. Scatter bombs. Fruity plum, another follower. Not great. Very nervous right now. to be nice and help me out here. That is helping. More help. Metronome. Oh gosh, the finger almost blew me up. <laughs> I barely caught it. <laughs> wow. Metronome could be interesting. I don't want to die, but... I'm going to use it and see if I can get some, like, yum heart effects or healing effects. I just produced a key piece. Wow. What are the odds? Is that permanent? No. It's just for the room. Cool. Now we know. I do love a strength card. Not good enough. So if metronome's gonna be temporary for the room, not sure if I want that or not. Uh, I forget which one of these gives me nine lives, but I should tr try to get Vincent Admiration instead, which I was about to get anyway. Oh, Forever Alone, sorry. Now it's got hit, which is lame. <laughs> I 
<laughs> slipped rib. I have more projectiles protection. But that is not what my worry is. My worry is if I get hit one time on the next floor, I'm dead. I need to get soul hearts. And there's I'm drowsy. Nice. So I'm drowsy goes over perks. That's going to help me with Mega Satan. I walk right into that. Love it. Well, this is looking dangerous, to say the least. to my buddy farting baby for blocking tears okay this one gives yum heart that's more preferable as I can heal my health back looks like they have other plans for me oh yes another angel follower and it is relic that's a run saver right there. Especially if this goes to Delirium. Every, I think it's like six room clears, we get a Soul Heart. Give me nine lives. <laughs> nice. I shouldn't take this, but I'm going to. It's going to mess up my synergy with Blood Oath. But if I die in a room now, it's not as big of a deal as if I were to just lose my run entirely. Another follower. Now, I don't want Conjoin because I don't have Homing Tears. Hmm... Sure. All right. It's now or never. Please don't mess me up, Metronome. Let's do a test. Metronome gave me the Star of Bethlehem. We're just going to slow things down. Problem's going to be if it uses Brimstone Beam on me. <laughs> and then the second problem is going to be whether or not I can stop these enemies from hurting me. Specifically, Mr. Sides over there. now that I'm thinking about it. But have I ruined runs before because I've taken nine lives? No, never. I've never lost a run from that. Taking risks and binding of Isaac? Why would we do such a thing? there. I don't like you. Okay. I think 
gets a little easier from here because it just has waves of tears and fire. So as long as Farting Baby doesn't get shifted too far out of range, it's fine, but I do have the candle to help me out. Kind of, because this is looking rough. <laughs> look at these, look at how wavy those tears are. <laughs> That's a little stressful. Can you imagine dodging that in real time? Not me. Not for me. This is why Blue Candle is so nice, because it completely eliminates a wave of tears. That makes it much easier for me to dodge, because I can just stay in line with that. Woo! Okay. Got the hard part out of the way. Is it going to be a part two? There is a part two. Okay. So what I'm going to do with Delirium now is I'm doing the entire floor without picking up the soul hearts from the relic. Curse of the Lost. Rude. Now that was a really good pickup. I activated the crystal ball. Oh, right. This is, this is a boss, not a regular enemy. Oh, yes. Thank you, game. I just activated Luna. Wow. It really can activate anything? Even planetariums? Hmm. We're learning today. Also, I didn't even say it. We unlocked the shell game. Or, the hell game. I'm assuming that's the shell game, but it uses your hearts instead. What even would they give as an item from that, I wonder? So like how shell game, your item reward is Skotole? Is there a unique shell game, hell game only item that you have to acquire, I wonder? Also, my buddy in a box is shooting out Little Horn Tears. I'm just over here trying to force the enemy to get consumed by a giant claw, but they don't want to cooperate. I think this one is okay. I just activated Metronome's Abaddon. This is gonna give me Beelzebub. No, okay, I guess the Brown Nugget doesn't count. Cause we have Fruity Plum and we have Forever Alone. I thought that would have counted, but I guess not. I like having Brown Nugget over Metronome because of the effect. You could just spawn a bunch of flies everywhere. In a very long fight like Delirium, that might come in handy. Maybe. Range down, sure. Range down. If I had false PhD, I would definitely use negative stats like shot speed down and range down. Because why not? Give me those stats. Very nice. Never. Oh. Right. Got it. Luck up. 
All right, we're gonna do a room check here. So this room going to the right, there's nothing above it, so that's okay. And then below it is another room. So if this room extends up and to the right, that could be delirium, assuming there's nothing on the opposite side of this area. I'm trying to get a feel for delirium's location without having a map. Okay. So the rooms, both of these rooms, the one the one I saw before and this one should not be delirium. Because they're next to each other. Oh boy, mom's bra. Can I get some perthro runes or something? Because this is not vibing with me. Pack would be good. Blanket, very good. So now when I enter the boss, I have a Holy Mantle. In rethinking about my approach, I'm going to <laughs> enter the boss rooms and just take my hearts if I see them because I'm going to forget where they are. Also, picking them up is good anyway, because I'm going to still get more followers. And if I happen to get Sworn Protector, as Sworn Protector blocks tears, it can drop Eternal Hearts. Speaking of Eternal Hearts... There aren't very many Angelic followers left. If I think about the pool, we would have to get Swarm Protector, or we would get Seraphim. Seraphim's good. made it, but I failed. Wow, blessed penny, or blessed penny, however you want to say that. Blessed penny will give me a soul heart Sometimes, when I pick up coins. This is really good synergy, because coin equals soul heart equals angelic follower. Um, I do not know what this item... I don't know what death does. I know what devil does, but let's see. What do you do? Oh, okay. It's a book of... Shadows. I know it's not bad because every time I use it, nothing happened. Soul of Apollyon is nice, giving me a bunch of flies. Honestly, I have no idea where I am, but here we are. The thing is, if I die, it's not the end of the run, and I do know where Delirium is located. That's good, right? <laughs> not really. Oh my goodness gracious. I don't like this.
What I'm hoping happens is there aren't a lot of jumping delirium forms. So when I hit it with sinus infection, they stick for a pretty long period of time. All right, Isaac, back up, buddy. Oh yeah, should probably use these. my shield. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> That's on me. I just kept going in the same direction. But, you know, a little kindness goes a long way, Delirium. Just a little bit. Not a lot. A smidgen. Tiny bit. Small percent. That's the clean sweep we're talking about. So we did Boss Rush, Hush, Cathedral, Chest, Mega Satan, Delirium. Beautiful. Which means your final run is Shield Dark Room. Take your time. Have a good one. Blah, blah, blah. But also, there is a boss. I'm just going to beat it really quickly. The pool is quite immense, and I'm curious if I can get one of the newer items. Nope. Moving on. That's it. I think Delirium has an unlock for every character. So this is going to be a trinket. Hemoptysis. I think that's the sneeze because that's the item that Azazel is holding. Yeah, hemoptysis. So I'm going to assume that's what it is. Either way, we won. The next video we're going to finish with Azazel. Thank you so much for watching. Please like the video, comment your thoughts, and subscribe for more. I will see you on the next one. Bye.